ah, 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 ah. This is the final stand. Ah, 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 ah. The power's in my hand. Ah, ah, ah. Two, four, one, da, on the inside. We gotta fight what was right. The four is gone, gone, gone. This is back again. <laughs> Yo. So it's fucking fire, bro. Sometimes shit be getting overlooked. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their battles. And that's why I treat everybody with respect. And I'm always like trying to be on some happy shit. Cause like, niggas be going through shit. Like we go through stuff, bro. We go through bullshit. It's, it's great to address it. It's great to like attack your head on and try to get to the root of it and what's going on and why you feel the way you feel, you feel me? Um, and once you start taking those baby steps, you'll look back and be like, damn, that was me. And I don't even know how I got here. All I want to say is, you got to feel like you're the best. You got to believe that you're the best. And then eventually, you will become the best version of yourself. Uh, Brought to you by... Clown Boys. Is that Chris? Is that Chris? Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the podcast that goes unnoticed. Welcome back to the spot. Don't make it hot. We love you. If you never listen to ah, And welcome to episode 128. Shout out to all the listeners on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and Patreon. Patreon, I get my personal shout out in the end. And all I want to say is uh, I hope everybody had a very, very safe Halloween. I know it just passed. We're entering November now. And with November Ooh. comes Daylight Savings. I think Is it Daylight Savings or is it, what is it? I think that's what it's called, Daylight Savings. Whatever yeah. it's called, like the time went forward. Everybody got an extra uh, hour of sleep. Or for the people that work overnight, you probably got an extra hour of work. Hopefully you got paid for that shit. And uh, yeah, guys, I just hope you enjoyed this episode. Enough of me yapping. I just want to get straight to the fucking nitty gritty. I want to make an announcement. Oh, before I do that, if you're watching this, Make sure you skip to the scary part if you want to watch the scary part. Because right here, it's always the regular shit. So, just to be clear, skip to the scary part. There's timestamps in the description for you. Wait, wait, whoa. Why are you mentioning that? There's been a lot of comments like, oh, I just came for the scary stuff. Why? Are you, what are you guys yapping about? It's because well, it's, it's of what we're going to talk about in like the podcast. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, okay. But, announcement, big announcement. So, this is, this is dropping either on Thursday or Friday. Whenever it drops... Uh, we will be dropping merch. I believe that's the eighth, right? That's the eighth. On the eighth, it's a it's a Friday, yeah. So, if you're if you're watching this and you're looking at our shirts, and for the people who are listening to this, we have dropped uh fall merch. It's a surprise drop. I know it was out of nowhere, but it's making it like uh, a little cheaper for you guys because I know the previous drop was expensive. I think it was like how much was it? Fifty five. It was fifty sixty after shipping. Like around there, right? Right, and so this drop is gonna be cheaper, bro. Bro, it's literally half, half, price, yeah. half of the price, bro. And it's not just you're getting more for your money. You're getting a shirt which is like gonna be oversized. It's it's not just a oh, it's gonna be a valid design. You know, it's gonna be fire as fuck. It's more like of how it fits, how it looks. It's simple as hell, and you get a free sticker on top of that and free shipping, right? Yeah, free shipping. So that so it's gonna be thirty five dollars, free shipping. For these shirts right here, I'm wearing the the sand colorway with the Clown Boys logo. He's wearing the brown one. I don't know if you guys can really tell because of the like the lighting and shit, yeah. but it is brown with the Clown Boys logo. And there will also be uh, an olive green. I'll post a picture on the screen for you guys to see it. And there will also be white and black. So for anybody who wants, again, this is this is a simple drop for anybody who wants to rep Clown Boys but doesn't want to spend too much bread. You know, y'all could literally just... Buy that shit if y'all want. And, and and just to let you guys know, the reason why the other one was a little bit more expensive, it was a lot more material, a lot more uh, time put into it. You time, know? effort. And, you know, because, yeah. bro, trust me, guys, those shirts were not easy to make, and we had to literally make every single one. And we didn't only get a couple of orders. You guys went crazy. We got a lot of orders coming in from you guys. And it's crazy how you guys still supported. Because to me, I thought it was a little bit expensive, and I wish it would have been cheaper. But like I said, because of how much material we had to use and how much time it was. And literally, like, one shirt took, I want to say, a whole day for, for it to just fully dry, yeah. fully be valid. On top of that, we had to wash it to make sure it wasn't going to crack. Because we said this before in previous episodes. I, I'm just going to, like, go over a little bit. We messed up a lot of, uh, on a lot of the shirts. So we had to reorder shirts, some blanks. And we didn't charge nobody for it. You know what I'm saying? It came out straight out of our pockets. We uh, make sure every single shirt was good. This shirt, same quality, same fit. You know, it's it's uh, 
it, it's valid as fuck, but we wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Like, look out for you guys. Not everybody could afford a $60 shirt, and it's understandable. You know what I mean? So this is more for you guys, for everybody who didn't get to purchase the other ones because I saw a couple comments. All oh, your shirts are a little bit too expensive. Oh, damn, the price is kind of like a little too high. Understandable, like I said. So th this is more for you guys. And also... The stickers, bro. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking for stickers. I, 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 when, when I posted up on Instagram, some people were like, yo, I need the stickers, bro. Bro, a lot, of, a lot of people have been feeding for stickers. And they're going to come with the shirts, you know? Yeah. So you're getting a shirt and a sticker, bro. Like, maybe two stickers. We still haven't decided that. And we are, like I said, fully transparent. We're going to be making less money off of this, you know? Because it's more like for a drop for you guys. You know, it's not really about us making money or... Or whatever, like, it's more for just to make sure you guys get merch because Christmas is coming. Who knows? Maybe people want to buy uh, their, themselves a Christmas gift. They want to buy their partners a Christmas gift. Like, oh, Clown Boys merch, whatever. And also, I want I want a lot of people to rep Clown Boys, bro. I want, I want everybody to, like, see the Clown Boys logo, bro. I want everybody to. I want to make that shit known, bro. So, so yeah, guys. I just hope you guys, you know, if y'all want, y'all buy. If not, it's cool. But keep on supporting. And uh, I'm just gonna get, get straight into the podcast or whatever. So Hall we just passed Halloween, of course. Yeah. Uh, how was? Oh, did you go trick and treating with uh, Julia? And I, I, so I was working, so I, and I couldn't get out of work early. And uh, fuck. you know, the trick or treating time for you know Julia that's valid is basically like the afternoon type shit, right? But like before, like uh, sunset. You know what I mean? Like like if, three to three to like three six. to like five, three to mm. five six. You know, because after like dark it gets a little dangerous mm -hmm. so and i got it at seven Ah, uh, yeah so i couldn't make it to trick or treat but I, she did send me videos like she, she bro julia loves halloween bro mm -hmm. she loves the nightmare before christmas she loves that movie she loves anything disney related to halloween she loves uh ghosts pumpkins she just loves halloween she loves dressing up she loves seeing the costumes. She loves trick or treating, bro. All year round, she mentions that, mm -hmm. like, oh, she plays and stuff, and she acts like she's trick or treating. Mm -hmm. So uh, I knew she was gonna be mad excited, and she's she was been talking about like, oh, I want to go trick or treating. I want to go trick or treating. Um, trick or treating, Papa. Like she kept <laughs> she kept mentioning it, and um, she also wanted to dress up as Elsa. Yeah, like, I saw. It was, like, it was mad cute, bro. Uh, from Frozen and shit. So she had mad fun. She she uh got a lot of candy low key. Yeah. And she only eats a little bit. I, I don't want her to eat like, you know. Of course, yeah. OD on candy and shit. We're low key eating most of it. <laughs> and she also handed out candy. She did? Yeah. She Aww. went shout out to Yelly. She went to um her madrina's house, her godmother's house. Stopped there real quick and she handed out candy. Oh, yeah. so that's fire, bro. Yeah, bro, it was fire for her. I I went uh I went trick or treating with uh, my sister. It was kind of last minute because, also, I, I like I promised my sister I was gonna go with her and shit. But like it was getting late, and then I kind of got lazy. But I ended up going because I felt a little bad. But I went with my sister, and my mom. Mm. My sister's a little older now, but I feel like it was a good bonding moment once again because we are closer than we were a couple years ago. Yeah, and. It just made me reminisce about the old times and shit. Cause apparently she doesn't remember us trick or treating together when, when we had multiple like Halloween trick or treating with each other. And shit, I was, maybe because she was like really really young, so she can't really remember it. But like, yeah. I, I, we also have pictures as well. But um, yeah, like I, I went with her. It was pretty fun. Um, we we tried we tried to like uh, go through all the houses and shit. But I feel like since we kind of went a little too late. All the candy was kind of done. Yeah, that so everybody was like, "Oh yeah, no more candy." All the bowls were like the, the bowls empty. full of candy were empty and shit. So we were like, "Damn!" But honestly, it was it was pretty fun a little bonding moment, especially with like since we were just uh, me, and my mom, and my my sister. Yeah. But also, it kind of like I felt like while we were trick and treating, it's weird, but like I felt sad. Like I mean, I felt happy, but also sad at the same time. What do you bro. mean? Because like, it's just not the same no more. It's not the same no more, bro. But do you, do you, do you but, but the only reason why I say that, bro, is because uh, when when we were going back home, uh, we passed like this little like out, not really alleyway. It's like a little street that's hidden to go to my house. And while we were passing, there was a lady that was uh, on her step, and she called for us. She was like, "Oh, you guys want like some candy or some some chips and shit?" Like, uh, I I bought my stuff and like we got no trick or treaters. 
No way. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, of course. Fuck it, bro. She gave us mad shit, bro. And that made me sad, bro, because, like, where the fuck are the trick-or-treaters at? And I'm not, and I'm not, I, I'm not gonna like. Cause people say, "Oh, it, it depends on the neighborhood." Yeah, but I don't believe that shit, bro. I feel like before it didn't matter what neighborhood you went to. Yeah, everywhere was packed, bro. And obviously, the fucking you seen it. I'm gonna pull out, uh, like I'm gonna put the the TikToks, the TikToks and shit. I saw mad TikToks of people like. My husband was so excited to hand out candy. Are you excited for the trick-or-treaters? Yeah, we finally live in town. We get to hand candy out. But but the thing is that shit has that low key happened since last year, even two or three years ago. I feel like since COVID after COVID, low key like you know we said this last year and we no. said this the, the year before that, bro. But this year was worse than last year, bro. I feel like it's the exact. Well, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying. I feel like it's the exact same shit. You know, you see a lot, a lot less houses with decorations before yeah, yeah. before a lot of the fucking houses, especially in the neighborhoods we drive by. You know, because the hood low-key never has decorations like that. Mm -hmm. But all the other houses, decorations, the inflatables outside, you would it would feel like fucking Halloween, you know? Especially, like I said, when you drive by specific streets, they all have fucking decorations. You know, everybody passes by and it's like, yo, like, yeah. that's this shit is fire as fuck. A little less decorations this time, but slowly, 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 it's it's just, that's what it's turning to, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, not a lot of people have the Halloween spirit or whatever. That's sad. That makes me sad. Bruh. Like, but I'm I, telling you, after COVID, it happened, bro. That's that's what happened. That's what, my, that's what my mom said, too. Like, people got scared of, like, like getting, like, sick or... People also say it's it's also, it's also so dangerous and shit, but even when we, we used to go, bro. Yeah. Like, it was so dangerous at that time, but, like, you still had everybody trick-or-treating and shit. Yeah, bruh. I don't know. It is sad. And also, like I like last year, we said the whole trunk trunk or treat. Yeah, that 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 low key ruined it. I don't know. I don't know if we do it on the island. No, yeah, there is. There is. There is. So spots. I feel. Like, I feel like that's what low key ruined it, bro. I feel like we should style trunk trunk or treat. Uh, but the the whole argument, like behind the whole trunk or treat, shit is that it's safe and it's within the neighborhoods and stuff, and they invite all uh, people to come. Yeah, but I also saw some other videos and pictures of like a big ass like line of people. Waiting to like, to get in the neighborhood and shit. No, no, not in the neighborhood. In the the parking lots where they do the trunk or treat. Mm. Like that does not look fun, bro. I don't want to wait in the line, wait like thirty minutes, twenty minutes to get to, candy. Yeah, but while I could just go to house to house with my friends and family, get candy. And, and it's shit. it's a better experience. Like yeah. it's it's more authentic. You know that's yeah, what. Bro, you remember back in the day when we used to go trick or treat? It was, bro. It was mad fun. Nah, yeah. Um, there's one specific street where, uh, like here on the island and shit. Mm. Um, it's Decker. That's like oh, the yeah 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 that, that's the block where it's known for like the whole trick or treating shit and I remember when I was younger every single house you know what I'm saying I feel like there's a lot of pressure in that specific block yeah. like oh motherfuckers have to have mad candy and shit motherfuckers have to like have candy you know what I mean like the whole block has candy and I feel like before every single house participated and low key like no. Now we didn't even, we didn't go there because last year it was a little too packed and like fucking not every single house was participating. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. So low key that that's like dying. So motherfuckers have to go to a different fucking block. But um, yeah, bro. Like I don't know what it is. People just don't want to participate in ho like Halloween anymore, bro. But the block where where uh um Julia was at, like the, where I, I recommended Abby, I, 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 there was a lot of people there. Even no, even no. when I went, there was a lot of people there. No, that's that spot is valid. Yeah, that, that bro. spot is valid. Yeah. And also, I used to go to Tomville back in the day with my cousin and shit. We used to drive all the way over there just to like, cause they, they used to give valid ass candy, big ass the the bars and shit. Yeah. And I don't even I don't know how it is now. Maybe it's still valid. I'll probably go there next year and shit, but. 
I just want that shit back, bro. Low key, again, I feel. Like I wish there was a way. But, but also, yo, I was thinking about it, right? What if it's just like that you're not a kid anymore, so you don't feel like the 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 holidays like as much. You know what I mean, like. Nah, I don't think that matters, bro. But you don't dress up and you don't like go trick or treating and shit. I feel yeah. that should change though. But like, all right, maybe not. Me, yeah, I would. I would dress up and go trick or treating because, like, fuck it, right? I, I I've seen certain people who are old they trick or treat, but I feel like most people all they care about now is just going to parties, dressing like ver- getting girls that like you know dress like yeah, in a being horny way. and shit. Yeah, bro, I feel like that's what it turned to, so, like slowly but surely. Or maybe it's also because we're older too. That's what we see more. But, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like that. But what I feel like people should start doing more. Like obviously Halloween, like the Halloween, t- like October. Definitely go to mad parties, bro. That's valid. But yeah. before, like on Halloween day, go trick or treating, go have fun, and then after during the night, go party. Low key, you know what it is too. I feel like more like YNs are like, <laughs> like motherfuckers just ruined it. Like, yeah. like oh, you see the videos where uh people Crab leave mad candy. Yeah, like bro, like and that's always been a thing. Yeah, but I feel was. like now there's more young crash outs than before. You know, people just like do crazy shit people want to fuck shit up and i feel like that that turned a lot of people off to do halloween shit bro you know before i feel like there was more like oh come on this block we're gonna scare you like more interactive shit but it's it's a little bit more and more less of that bro that's so that's so sad bro. i'm telling you it's because like this generation is more crash out bro like they're just literal like why is trying to like why i'm not gonna say like the meaning just search it up on tiktok <laughs> I'm, I I cannot say what that means. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But search it up. It basically means like the young young, the cra- young, young yeah. crash out. You know, like young crazy motherfuckers. Bro. Yeah, That's, the young generation type shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? But jits, J- fucking those motherfuckers ruined it. I feel like you know, like I said, the videos people just fucking shit up. You can't just fucking take one, two pieces, three pieces. And I'm not gonna lie, like I was. Yeah, but like but everybody's like, done that. Everybody's done that, bro. And I feel like no matter what, kids are gonna be kids. Teenagers are gonna be, gonna be teenagers. There's always gonna be people like that, bro. But I feel like I don't think that ruins anything. Yo, what fucking ruined it, guys? Like, what, what, like, what's the reason? Yo, let us know in the comments. Let's bring you... that shit back, bro. Fuck out of here, bro. Let's bring that shit How back. How are we somehow, gonna bring bro. that shit back, bro? I feel like, t- bro, when we get to a point when like we're known. I'm gonna make sure we bring that shit back, bro. I'm gonna like be like making a huge announcement, like, yo, everybody, fucking, uh, like. I, I will personally buy candy, give it to every fucking house so they could give out to fucking kids, bro. So, like, kids have the experience? Yeah. I mean, after a while, that shit's going to be gone, bro. Oh, my God. Don't say that. Don't say that, bro. Low key, bro. Low key. You know what I mean? Like, that shit's going to be gone. I feel like a lot of things are slowly going to disappear, bro. It's hard, bro. That's- it's a different type of generation, different type of things coming out, different type of shit, bro. Like you know what also made me sad, bro? Mm. The fucking those videos of the the dogs and costumes waiting like for trick or treaters. Yeah, I saw that shit. Bro, but I'm telling you right now, I, like I have a soft spot for like dogs and shit. That shit made me tear up, bro. I'm, t- I'm being, nah, being what, what made me a little bit more sad was uh, the videos, like you said, that people were waiting. They got mad candy and shit, and no one showed up. And nobody showed up. Oh, what, what happened to all the trick or treaters? Yes. I was waiting for all the trick or treaters and stuff, especially the older people. Yeah, that's bro. that that hits low key like. Uh, it, it hits my soft spot or whatever. And this trans- transitions to another thing too, right? What? We're in November. Thanksgiving is gonna come then. Uh, Christmas is gonna come. I saw a video. It was I, I'll actually show you, bro, because it's it's dead ass real shit, bro. And it's it's about the holidays that everybody can relate to, because at that time nobody knew shit. Read the caption. When holidays are coming up, but your family isn't your family anymore. Damn, bro. Nah, bro, that's true. It's true. 
I, I'm yeah. pretty sure I have like some videos like that. I was, somewhere. I was, I was actually thinking about it. Like I was, I was thinking about um, Christmas coming up, Thanksgiving and shit. Specifically Christmas, you know, because my family, like just like my immediate family, like my mom, my aunt, my cousin, my brother, and my uncles when they before they passed away, like we used to like be excited because yeah. it would be the time of year where oh it would be time for like one of those special meals, you know. You got the pozole, shit like that. Tostadas de tinga. You got the the chocolate or like the arroz con leche. You know what I mean? The 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 warmer type of more bonding type of meals. Yeah. They would come out during this time of year, and we would all just like sit at the table. We would uh just chop it up, like talk, fucking reminisce, joke around, but and then also go over to my cousin's family, like cousin's house. My other cousin's house, we would all join together. Or it would just be at my cousin Liz's house. And then, like, we would all go there. Every single one of my cousins, everybody, even, like, cousins from Pennsylvania and shit. They'll pop out. Yeah, but, like, I guess time just split everybody up. And small drama, stupid shit. Mm -hmm. Also, like, I guess since cousins get older, they, they don't really fuck with, like, other cousins and shit like that yeah bro for for whatever reason i don't know what it is like for me i think what happened with my family and shit i don't know if you guys maybe too much information but basically what happened with my family was that it's just a lot of drama and basically somehow my family split up with everybody else yeah they still fucked with each other but my mom is a very complex person bro like she's just she, she's just different and shit so there was like drama with my mom and them and then my brother doesn't even like them and shit. Mm. And me, I'm, I'm like, kind of stuck in the middle because I don't really, like, oh, it's not like I don't fuck with you. It's just, like, we don't see each other, so yeah. we're not close anymore. You know what I mean? So it was kind of a weird, like, dynamic and shit. And then I slowly just stopped talking to my cousins because the only time I really talked to them was when I saw them at, you know, family gatherings. Yeah. We stopped being close like that and slowly, like, drifted apart. You know, now I barely talk to my cousins, bro. Like, mm -hmm. the only cousin that I talk to is, shout out to Liz. Mm -hmm. And it's barely, bro. You know, everybody gets caught up with their life. Everybody gets caught up with trying to, like, you know, become, like, the best version, become successful and shit. Or, or also people get caught up in the family drama, too. Yeah, bro. But the thing is, is, like, I'm not part of no family drama, bro. And somehow that shit just happened to me. You know, like, I, I'm like, uh, it just happened because of my family before i guess you know like my mom and shit mm. which is fucking corny bro like i feel like also hispanic families bro like they're just so like she's muscle sometimes bro you know they they're so uh how do you say that in spanish in english she's muscle yeah like oh um like nosy they gossip a lot yeah too much gossip bro yeah in between family and shit and it's like bro just worry about your family that that's that's what separated my family bro i'm being straight up the whole like gossip in between oh my kid is this my kid is that yeah. Look, comparing kids and shit you know oh my like if i compare my kids to my cousin's kids oh my kids are better somehow yeah oh my kids are doing this like flex trying to flex and shit you know i feel like that's what kind of ruined our family and stuff my my, my situation is kind of different mine's more like there's family drama within like uh parents with um their kids or relationship problems and shit like that people mm -hmm. getting people trying to get in pe people trying to step in and sometimes it t turning physical and stuff but n never never stuff like that but yeah it, well it just started making me sad because like uh well this year i think it might be different because i feel like i'm gonna be with like a certain like like certain group of family shit which i'm glad but do you do you think uh, your sister's like Kinta probably helped it or or not nah, other stuff maybe? No 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 no. I feel like I don't know I don't know what helped it, but I honestly don't know what helped maybe it. Everybody just got over it. Nah, cause like before it used to be uh, I think like four or five families all together like every holiday. Now it's only like two, three. I think just two, like two including including my family. Mm, so three in total. No no no. Oh. Oh, you went your family and another family. Yeah, yeah. So just two. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's our family with, two, yeah, yeah, with, with two other family uh, like groups and shit. But other than that, it hasn't been like five. The only, the only time like I said that has been like OD family was like my sister Skinter, bro. But like even yeah. then, if 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 there was never no drama, there would there would have been hella more people more in that people? party, bro. Yeah, because yeah, I have a lot of family members. 
But like again, it's just drama shit that kind of split everybody up. And a comment that that got to me in that in that uh what call that video was like, I think these these were the times where like because uh, you, you didn't. We didn't we didn't understand what was going on as kids. It, it wasn't until we grew up that we find we figured out like damn like low key our, our family was like kind of like a, a mess and not nah, hundred fucked up in a way. Not nah, hundred percent, bro. You yeah. know, like I'm speaking from my experience. I feel like Mexicans have a hard time of like just being. I feel like mature adults sometimes. You know, like they uh they act act like children instead of like talking it out or instead of discussing what what's really up. Yeah, they rather say it behind people's backs and then it. It's it's gossiping, and then it comes out like, oh, you were basically talking shit, you know. Yeah. When in reality, it could have just been like, yo, I don't, I don't agree with this. Mm. And then they wouldn't have been talking shit. Would have just been straight up like a conversation. As grown people, you know, like, oh, like I don't like this. Can you like fix it or whatever? And then it's it's fixed. That's it, bro. But people have a hard time of doing that because they probably think it's like gonna be confrontational and stuff. Mm. But it's not like that, bro. That's what families have to do, you know? That families have to have that sort of communication in order to to bond, in order to be closer with each other, bro. That's just what it takes, you know, having the tough conversations. And a lot of the times, bro, I feel like Mexican families don't like having those, t- like, tough conversations because they feel uncomfortable about it. You know, they feel like it's a a confrontation when in reality it's just the conversation it's just a regular conversation bro you don't have to turn into argument that that or they just don't want to express their emotions exactly or something exactly bro like and also mexicans have a hard time of keeping their opinions to themselves you know a lot of the times they grew up with tias or tios having a lot of opinions and a lot of comments about every single thing you do Mm. to the point where you grow up like that too you know like oh motherfuckers start working out oh look look my son works out now oh like like it's, it's like a big ass fucking deal like yeah you know what i mean oh, oh like you're getting a little fat bro like you gotta like you know what I'm like you could just keep your comments and your opinions to yourself and shit yo I, I'm, I'm lucky like right now like i think the family that i hang out with right now like the two groups I don't, I don't, not that i peep bro i don't think they like that we just get together and just everybody just start talking about like Random shit, and, and that's what it should be, you know. It should, that it literally should be that no comparisons to no kids, no opinions or like, no trying to get insight or like, oh, so what's up with your life? Like to make sure, oh, they're they're not doing better than your family or you're not, they're not doing better than you. Like, mm. I feel like that's 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 what happens in my family and shit. You know, oh, yeah, bro. that's why even I separated. I separated a lot mm. from my family and shit because I feel like motherfuckers are just worried about what I'm doing just to like. Not because they care about me, just because like they uh they want to be nosy. Also, uh, to also like bring this conversation up, guys. Uh, so me and Ricardo we recently had a discussion on like where to go, like where to take this podcast. Because for the regular viewers who are watching this show right now, uh, let us know if you guys want like because this this is the way I like this is the way I see the the whole shit, right? So let us know if you guys would like, uh shorter episodes because the regular segment will be shorter but the scary shit will be a lot longer maybe probably the same thing probably like an hour and a half type shit or like around there but it'll be like 30 regular an hour uh an hour scary shit. scary stuff yeah so it, it'll basically cut down a lot but you'll get more scary shit or do you guys want to want it just to keep it the same keep it the same just make sure the scary shit is always there bro also let us know if you guys think we should change the whole clown boys name like because since the start we started with clown boys yeah you guys even know us as clown boys but i haven't like seen like our analytics and stuff and people search us up through a notice podcast and we do pop up but i don't know if it affects anything and also people know us for the unnoticed podcast bro yeah that's who we are like yeah y'all, y'all know us as the unnoticed podcast by clown boys you know whatever and um yeah because i just I saw our channel and I feel like it just needs a little bit of a revamp. It looks kind of dry. Like, what the fuck are you guys about, bro? We need to focus on like taking pictures for you guys, you know, having a little bit more photo shoots, effort when it comes to how we present the podcast. You know what I mean? I feel like that's all it is, bro. I feel like we, we, we slack a little bit on that. We focus too much on like trying to make the episodes as good as possible. And we do that. But I feel like we just need, also need to focus on like the aesthetics of it mm-hmm. and shit. You know what I mean? Maybe even like upgrading, like like bro, we we say that all the time and then we forget about it. Mm. Upgrading our equipment, upgrading like the setting and shit. Like, mm. know what I mean? Like 
we we need a little bit of a revamp. That's it, bro. Like yeah. a refresh, even for them. Like maybe it could be called season two. Maybe we could upgrade the mics. I, like you said, add the soundboard and shit. Change the fucking this background. Make it look a little bit more better. Like change the chairs. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Shit is gonna be the same. We're gonna talk about the same shit. The same who we are. We're not gonna change this shit. We're not gonna change our like aesthetic. But like it, I feel, I feel that's what it is, bro. I feel like if we somehow we just need to upgrade, bro. Yeah, feel, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's what I was trying to get at, bro. How how could we upgrade? Let us know what you guys want want us to do. You know, like we could do shit for you guys. Maybe have different segments and shit. Actually, every single week we have when you guys tell the story on the podcast. Maybe we'll call you guys. Mm-hmm. Maybe we'll uh, literally have you guys send a voice mo- voice memo every week. We'll choose like one or two featured on the episode. You know, like different shit trying to upgrade you know yeah of course i feel like that's what i was trying to get at you know i was overthinking it with all the other shit that i was saying yeah because what i was saying guys was like oh just have two different podcasts and shit change like the whole shit but i feel like what i really meant is like i feel like we just need a refresh yeah everything yeah 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 Dude, when you say it like that i understand where you're coming from yeah bro that's that's, that's what i meant bro like because yeah. I, I, I agree i agree you know shit moves on bro like yeah. sh- sh- we have to go along with it you know yeah we're getting a lot more supporters. We're getting a lot more viewers, a lot more listeners. And you guys, bro, like, you guys deserve it, you know? You guys deserve the best audio, the best look and shit. And that's what we have to do, bro. Low-key, if you're down, like, because I know, I know you mentioned that you maybe want to, like, fix up the... the Like, make it actually look like a studio and shit like that. Because low-key, if you want, we could, like, paint the background of, like, this wall, that wall black. That's what I mean, bro. Well, we, we, we could do that, bro. Like, like, if we can't get the like a clown boys logo, we could, you know, put some nails so so we don't have to worry about having these shits, the the clips. So we could just literally put the light on. Yeah, on like the, a like a, like a rack type yeah, thing to like yeah, yeah, yeah bro, yeah. yes. And then we could put both of them on each side, yeah, on each side and shit, make it long and stuff. You know, like we need that, bro. We just need to do it. Uh, yeah, I, I I know what you mean, bro. It, it it'll it'll make it feel better because like it's a new setting, so I, I know what you mean. And it's been long, long awaited. Yeah, bro. we've been we've been with this with the setup for at least over two years now. Exactly. So it's definitely gonna come for the coming year for a fact. I don't give a fuck. It's it's gonna happen. Season two, where that's what we're gonna call it. Season two. Yeah. Season two, um, of a notice podcast. You guys are gonna get a new setup. Uh, new format to how we do the podcast. Maybe we're gonna have different segments for you guys. Yeah. You know, to to for for you guys to interact with us a lot more. Maybe we'll call you guys. You know, guys, you guys could tell you scary stories or just the voice memo shit. And of, and of course, we'll have some like guests on the podcast too. Cause it's been a long ass time since we had like an actual like guest on the so, podcast. Bro. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff that we have to buy. Yeah. You know, the a, a different camera, a new camera. No, no, not new camera, just like... Oh, no. oh, yeah, you're right, for the second camera. A second yeah, camera yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to have to get a second camera. We're going to have to get... We might stay with the mics, who knows? The soundboard shit, the... um, Maybe change the whole setup, new chairs, you know, like... But that's going to be coming in the next year. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's going to come. Yeah. We're not trying to rush anything because, you know, motherfuckers don't got all the money in the world. If we had mad money and shit... We would have been changed this shit. We would have already had a whole, like, studio, but... You know, shit just doesn't work out like in our favor. <laughs> not not even just that. You know, it's it's a it's like a growth. You know what I mean? We're growing. We're slowly growing. We're slowly getting what we deserve and shit. And it takes some time, guys. You know, this happened already before, yeah. but we never talked about it. What? So today, right? I was cooking and shit, right? Oh shit! So I was cooking eggs to be exact, and uh, I cracked an egg and it had two yolks in it again. Oh shit! You know what that means, right? I for, uh, you told me, but I kind of forgot what it was because I'm because back in California, I cracked another another egg and I had two fucking uh, yolks in it as well. So now it's in your situation. I hope that's not what it means, but there's a whole like uh, what is it um, superstition uh-huh. based around if you crack an egg. So if you crack an egg and two yolks come out, it's like a sign that you could possibly be having a baby like a baby's in the future or a baby is coming and the reason why i say this and why i know it's low-key true it's not just a superstition that loki has some fact behind it is because around the time where abby found out that she was pregnant with isabella my yeah. second daughter she kept cracking eggs and she kept telling me yo it's kind of weird like yo 
why the fuck do i keep cracking the eggs and two yolks come out every single fucking time bro she she got like two yolks at least six times bro back to back back to back god damn so and around that time like i said she was having like six like sick symptoms and shit signs, signs of being pregnant so, yeah exactly and then she was pregnant let me know if you guys have ever heard about that superstition. I, I've seen like people mention it on TikTok, and I've seen people mention it on social media, but I don't know how accurate that superstition is. But I know people believe in that. Nah, bro. There's no way though, cause I've I haven't had might be a little bit TMI or whatever, but I haven't had raw like, unprotected uh, sex. unprotected sex in like three months, bro. <laughs> And, yeah. was, and, I, and I never have unprotected sex unless it's like my, like yeah. my girl, girl. I, I never have unprotected sex with any unprotected sex with anybody, bro. Yeah, of course. No matter who it is, I don't care. But so, so like, I feel like it's probably just like a coincidence. Yeah, it could just be a coincidence. Hopefully, bro. it's a coincidence and like no fucking condo has broken or whatever. But bro, that's just that's just fucked if it, if it's if it's true, bro. It's kind of scary. That is, cause guys, I am single and I don't I, like. Is, is, is it possible for me to have a kid, bro? There's no way. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, it's, yeah, like I said, it's just a superstition. There's no, like, oh, like, like, for a fact. Like, that's what it means and shit. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. just superstition and shit. But, you know, in some cases, it just happens. I guess it's coincidence, whatever. But, yo, that's fucking scary, bro. Yeah, like, if, and, uh, an and another thing, right? So, I don't know if you, this shit happens to you because this, this always happens to me every time I get a haircut because I got a haircut a couple days ago and... <laughs> Every single time, I fall asleep on a chair, and I've I've looked it up. If like like I literally searched what, it up. What does that mean? Yeah, why why do you fall asleep while getting a haircut? And people say like like I saw only a, a couple videos, but some people say like they don't they don't fall asleep while getting a haircut. Like most of them said they don't fall asleep. So I'm like, is there something wrong with me, or am I just sleep deprived that like I'm so relaxed <laughs> that like that I fall asleep? I don't yeah. know what it is. Cause I, has that ever happened to you? Yeah, it has. But like every single time for me though, even if I get a good enough Bro, sleep. Bro, just got used to it now at this even point. If get, <laughs> even if I get good enough sleep, I somehow end up like falling or like falling asleep on a chair. Has Michael Don't ever said it? anything? No. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he finds it funny, bro. He just lets you sleep? Yeah, because <laughs> the recently, because <laughs> I, I, I was falling asleep and shit, and, like, you know when, like, he, he puts the the chair back so he could do your eyebrows and shit? Yeah. So he, he sprayed my face with water because he was going to, because he was going to, like, <laughs> Line me up right here in my, my eyebrows. <laughs> I was falling asleep. Like, I kind of fell asleep. And when he did it, I, like, got scared as <laughs> shit. I jumped up. But, like, I didn't I didn't, I didn't laugh or I didn't look at him to make sure if, like, he saw or, like, Yeah. He definitely noticed this shit, but, yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Tell, let Yo. me know, guys, if that happens to you guys, like, yeah. all, all the guys and shit. No, nah, bro. I, I've seen videos of, there was this one video that I saw. This guy was, first of all. Sometimes people will be paying a, an absurd amount of money for, like, haircuts and shit. I don't believe a haircut should be more than fifty dollars i agree with that i seen a clip that uh, out there somewhere of a guy saying uh, shout out, yeah shout out t banks a haircut should not be more than fifty dollars i agree with that because i pay sometimes 50 if i'm feeling you know generous yeah or whatever but it shouldn't be more than fifty dollars bro i pay 35 and that's tip you know the haircut alone is not fifty dollars bro no fucking barber should be charging more than 50 right but motherfuckers out there be charging 150 200 250 sometimes even thousands bro people be bugging those are the uh tiktok barbers people be bugging bro but i saw this video of a guy he was like getting a haircut he got a shave he got the the hot towel shit oh yeah and then like he got like some sort of like facial or whatever mm -hmm. and bro was snoring but he let him like the the barber was cool with that you know what I mean yeah because like, that's basically like a little like spa type shit bro that's what the comments were saying and I agree with it bro that's like that's like men therapy bro yeah you know what I mean that's how I take it when I'm at a haircut I'm bro you're getting a haircut bro it's deeper than just getting a haircut you know it's you are like taking care of yourself grooming yourself knowing that you about to look fire after this shit yeah you're relaxed nobody's like bothering you. Well, if you have a, if you have a pretty good barber, because sometimes they'd be fucking up their customers. But anyways, that's besides the point. Continue. You you're relaxed. You're chilling. You know, uh, bro. You feel like good, bro. It, sometimes it feels good. The vibrations and shit. Like it's kind of like a little bit of a massage, low key. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So too. you know, it's valid as fuck, guys. Trust me, girls out there, women. If you guys want to have like a little gift to your 
your significant other, your husband, whatever, your pay boyfriend. For their haircut. Pay for their haircut. Pay for their haircut. Trust me, guys. It's exactly the same. The same feeling that you girls have when you get your nails done. Your hair done. Your hair done. Whatever. Trust me. It's the same exact feeling, bro. And then the guy comes out feeling like, bro, amazing. Especially if it's a good haircut. You look at yourself in the mirror after the haircut, and you're like, yo, this shit is valid, bro. Like, yeah. Like, like I said, sometimes I be tipping my bar, like, Michael. More when I'm like, yo, bro, Loki, like, went, cra- <laughs> yeah, yeah, went yeah. crazy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, b- fucking, I feel, like, amazing, bro. I, I, lo- I love haircuts. To, to go back to your shit, I feel like the only time it will be worth $100 is the the spa shit. No, like, all, like all the all the treatment. The extra shit. Yeah, because if you're falling asleep to that and you're going to look good, like, after. Then- Remember that time when, um like, all our barbers were, like, not available and shit and we had to go to, like, Greg's, like, new barber or whatever? Oh yeah, yeah. That spot next to like McDonald's or whatever. Mm-hmm. I remember. I remember. And bro did the whole like all the shit on my face, and I'm like, "Fuck, is he gonna charge me extra for this shit? I didn't even ask for this." Oh, he did that shit for you? He did. He didn't do it to me. Did I ask? Yeah. Oh, it's probably because I have a beard, though. Oh yeah, probably. Did he charge you more? No, he did. It's crazy. We didn't even talk about it, bro. And I have it. Like, uh, Dia de los Muertos. Oh yeah, we didn't even talk about that shit. Oh, right, let's talk about it. You know, we all oh, everyone mentions Halloween and shit. But yo, recently I did see a lot of videos of this. Is what I wanted to talk about, bro. I should have brought it up in the beginning of the episode. I saw a lot of videos of um people who are not Mexican. Mm-hmm. You know, because the other los muertos is more like a Mexican culture thing. Oh, they were making uh, ofrendas. Yeah, well, for those of, for those English speakers, not Mexican. You know, uh, what a ofrenda is is basically like. It's not. It's not an. Al- it's kind of like an altar, I guess you would say. Yeah, it kind of is. You're not worshiping anything. It's just like uh, an offering. You know, yeah. it's, you're basically offering. Um, it's a memory of of a, of a loved one that passed away. Exactly. Or, it's like a tribute. Yeah. Or um. Or an, or, or or pets too. Yeah. So any any loved one, you put specific things that they enjoyed while they were alive, and you're like basically offering them like, oh, to come visit visit you and shit, your home or whatever wherever you put that certain like tribute i don't know how to explain because i don't want it to seem like we're not like worshiping anything it's not like I, I don't feel like it's like a ritual or whatever it's more like a a respect thing you know it's it, bro it's because a like, lot of cultures have different shit like that like um the japanese have yeah, yeah. have the their altars to for their ancestors and shit yeah and they put like the incense and shit so it's more like that Bro, I, bro, I'm pretty sure everybody has watched the fucking movie uh, Coco? Coco, bro. If you watch that shit, then you understand what the what the ofrenda is. But basically, I saw a lot of people who aren't part of the Mexican culture, and they were putting they they wanted to do it. They wanted yeah. to participate in yeah. the whole Dia de los Muertos. They wanted to put the the altar and shit. I just set up my ofrenda for this year, and no. I'm so very pleased with how it turned out. Let me show you guys. A few days ago, I showed you my pets. Make you cry. Today, I've added my grandparent. Uh, I got some copal. I got a pond de muerto. I got some coffee for my grandpa. I got some water, some salt, paper flowers. Uh, this, my grandmother, it's just cinnamon sugar apples. My grandmother taught me and my brother how to swim, and every time we came out of that pool, she would have those sitting there ready for us. Coming back from school, she'd have those sitting there ready for us. My grandmother was amazing. Uh, all my grandparents were involved. I lost her on my 12th birthday, and uh, someone gave me the awesome idea of leaving out a slice of birthday cake for her which I haven't been able to get my hands on yet. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying not to cry on camera again. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be picking that up and I'll be adding that to it. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for guiding me and helping teach me about all these amazing traditions and everything from not just Mexico's culture or the indigenous Mexican cultures, but all of Latin America because they're truly beautiful traditions. And it was like fire. It was fire, bro. Yeah. You know, it's so fire and but the the thing that was like crazy is the fact that they felt like they had to ask for permission to do that. You know? Really? Yeah, bro, it's like, oh, am I wrong for wanting to do this? Am I wrong for doing this? Hell nah. 100% no, bro. You know, like... Anybody could do it. 
culture is not a thing that's only specific to one person, bro, or one race or or that specific group of people. Culture is for everybody, bro. You know, and you're not being a culture vulture or whatever, unless you're Drake. But you're not, you know, <laughs> you're, you're not being a culture vulture. You're not being weird for trying to like you know you get inspired bro like it's yeah. it's a beautiful thing bro culture is a beautiful thing that spreads and it's meant to be shared bro yeah that that's what represents you that's what represents your people and shit and bro it's it's not weird if like other people want to like you know dive into your culture as well you know and it was so beautiful seeing that shit and i it feel surprised like, me because that's the first time i've seen it too yo like, other, other other people that weren't mexican that were making like uh ofrendas and shit that's a fact bro and uh that's that's one thing that like was making me emotional, you know, because I haven't, um, you know, I have people that have died in my in my family and shit, and I'm not really like sad about it though, because I didn't really have a good connection with them and shit, and like there was a lot of you know a lot of bad stuff that happened while they were alive and shit. Yeah. But like seeing other people put out friendas and stuff, and Abby, she has one for uh, her mom, her mom and her grandma. So uh, that shit made me emotional because I'm just like. They were, it's just fucking sad, bro. You know, death and shit, you know. Uh, yeah, and then obviously, inevitably, you're probably going to have to be in, you're going to end up doing the same thing on the, in the future. Bro. Exactly. And it's also fucking sad when people post videos of memories that they had with them. Yeah. And they're not there anymore, bro. And also the the videos of like the, for me, the dogs that they're, they're just staring at the ofrenda. Y'all already know, y'all love to see us be no Sabo kids. So, again, we're going to bring it back. The third version of Yo Sabo the Game. Shout out to Yo Sabo the Game for sending this over. Uh, this is the Sana Sana Colita de Rana version. <laughs> what the fuck? That's how you say it. Say it one more time. Sana Sana Colita de Rana. It's valid. It's valid. Bro, what? Yo, this motherfucker, bro. Anyways, <laughs> we're going to test who the fuck is a no Sabo kid. These are fucking hard ass questions. I know this motherfucker's not gonna get this get this shit, bro. bro. Especially because I'm tired right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get it. Nah. I'm gonna get some of them. Nah. Como se dice crutches? Uh la 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 la. Na andador. Uh, oh, what? Fuck. You fucking got me, bro. I'm not gonna lie, you fucking got me. Uh cruches? I don't know how you say it. Muletas. Bruh. Muletas, bro. Like, oh my gosh, I fucking heard this shit before. Anyways, uh, you're definitely not gonna get this one either. Como se dice? How do you say blood clot? Blood clot. I was just gonna say that. Blood clot. <laughs> yeah. You're uh, not gonna get this, bro. Never gonna get this, bro. Uh, tapado de sangre. I don't <laughs> fucking know, bro. Uh, coagulo de sangre. What? Coagulo. Coagulo? Coagulo, yeah. Coagulo? Oh, God, bro, I've never heard of these. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. These are all like fucking like injury, like medical shit, bro. I'm never gonna get none of these shits, bro. How do you say swell? Como say this is swelling? Swelling? Yeah. In Inchado? No. Swelling? Yeah. Like something. Swelling. Because Inchado is like it's swole. It's swollen. Uh, swelling. Swelling. Infla inflamado In inf inflamación yeah yeah <laughs> i got it <laughs> ah, bro como se dice painkiller advil oh <laughs> 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 uh, yo <laughs> yo loki wasn't wrong though <laughs> it's, not, it's not wrong um <laughs> Painkiller, painkiller, painkiller. Uh, it's not medicine, that's medicine. Pastilla. Is pastilla in the in the word? No. It's just one word? It's just one word, Fuck. yeah. Fuck. You're not going to get this, bro. I'm not going to lie. Okay, what is it? Analgesico? Low key. Lo I've heard that. You've heard that I've before? I've heard that, yeah, bro. Fuck. Okay. Como se dice constipated? Uh... Concipado? Huh? No. No, no, say it again? Concipado? No. That's a penalty word, bro. Con. Con. Constipated. Bro, you know you should know this word. Estoy tapado. <laughs> That's another penalty <laughs> yeah. word. That's another penalty bro. word. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it, bro. Think about it. Whenever whenever you, you're, you're constipated, what the fuck do you. What the fuck did your mom say? You used to say. 
Remember? No puedo cagar. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, I, what is it? Uh, it's a... Uh, Estrinido. Oh, no. estrinido. Yeah. Estrinido. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that fucking word, bro. Fuck. All right, bro. Oh, ¿Cómo se dice fuck. common cold, bro? Come on. You know this shit. Common cold? Yeah, the common cold. Uh, enfermo? <laughs> no, bro. That's sick. <laughs> like, I got the common cold medio, like... Medio aire? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, uh, that's what you get, my law. <laughs> um... If I say it, bro, you're gonna be tight. I am I, gonna be tight because it's like on the tip of my tongue. Uh, when when I, when you get sick, what what would you say? Medio what? Me, oh, medio. Under. Oh, uh, no, that's not escalofrío. That's goosebumps. Medio. It's kind of like yeah. It's kind of like that, right? Medio. It starts with the R, bro. Come on, just say it, please. Three, two, one. Nah, resfriado. Yeah, bro. I heard you that. knew that shit, right? Yeah. Como se dice dehydrated. Uh, deshidratado. Yeah. Como se dice rash. Estrenido? That's not. That's, not, but that's no. constipated, bro. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to think of the other word. Um. Uh, what the fuck is the word, bro? Oh, it rhymes, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, fuck, bro. I, I, I guess because I really see, recently had one, and like my mom said the word. It rhymes with estrinido. I know. Um, <laughs> starts with an S, bro. Fuck, fuck, bro. You give up? It's not strin. No, 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 no. Um, strin, strinido. No. What is it? Sarpuido. Fuck. Yeah, bro. It was going to be pretty hard for you to remember that, bro. Bro, about time. What plant do people say to use to soothe the burn? Uh, Aloe? Aloe vera? Yeah, but like it has a, it has a like word to it. Eucalyptus? No. Uh, it has a word? Yeah. Aloe vera has a word? Specific word? Like, yeah. You, you've heard this word before, too. the burn pomada i don't know fucking <laughs> what is it sabila oh bro it's it's the spanish word for aloe aloe vera i'm oh, stupid prayer about time what are the five senses translated in spanish uh okay um is oled no it's not not oled <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just, just try, just name all of like the way you think it's it is. So Oler is the first one. This go go That's go. so wrong, bro. Go, just go, just go. Okay, yes. all right, escuchar. Okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Wello. <laughs> uh, tocar. <laughs> okay, okay. A ver. That's it. That's five. That's five. That's no, five. that's four. I said four. <laughs> oh shit! No, you said, uh, you said uh, escuchar. Yeah. You said tocar, tocar, ver, uh, probar. You said. I didn't say probar. Oh shit! See, look at you. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Did I say them right? But you said them completely wrong, no bro. Way. All of them. Wait, how do you say them? <laughs> All right. So ver is vista. Oh. To, to, to hear my dumbass, I'm saying like what I'm doing. I'm not saying the actual <laughs> definition. Oh. Okay, so it's vista. Right, to, to see is vista. Like, yeah. Uh, to hear is oído. Oh my god. To yes. touch is tacto. To smell is olfato, and to taste is gusto. Gusto. The, the the smelling one you said olfato olfato I would I would never got that I would have never got it. same same with fucking taste gusto Tacto and gusto I've never heard that I never heard that before me either but anyways wait bonus 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 por qué fue el tamal al hospital I don't know why tamalito 
But that, <laughs> well, yeah, guys, go buy your sabo the game. Go test your Spanish. This is this is, this is probably like the hardest version of the game. Facts. The the your regular sabo the regular sabo is I feel like that's easy. Then uh, the the Halloween the Halloween version is a little harder. And this one is fucking hard, bro. I'm telling you right now, nobody's gonna get these words unless you're you're actually like fluent in Spanish, bro. But I feel like even the fluent people are gonna say different different words for the for the for the words or whatever. This but, is like like textbook definition, like proper Spanish. Yeah, but guys, <laughs> go cop yourself. You'll stop with the game. They're fucking awesome. Shout out to them for sending this out. Shout out to you, Carlos, and the team for sending this out. And yeah, guys, follow them at Yosabo underscore the game on Instagram and TikTok. And down below, you could cop it at YosaboTheGame.com or you could cop it at TikTok shop under our names and stuff. And yeah, guys, back to the video. But that does conclude the regular segment for you guys. Get ready for the scary shit or the your favorite segment. Um, I'm letting you guys know right now the scary segment is going to be fire as fuck. My topics, bro, I have... Two long topics and shit, and I have, like, one short one that's going to fucking mind fuck the hell out of you guys. But trust, guys. And I know you have bad-ass topics yourself, so, yeah, bro, straight out of fire. <laughs> well, that being said, guys, that, that does conclude the regular segment. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, get your snacks. Get your blankets. Get your headphones. Turn off the lights. Get comfortable. And enjoy the show. Anyways, we're back, guys, uh, from our, you know, our little break or whatever. But, you know, you're, you're going to start because I started last podcast. Huh? Uh, hard to fuck up, bro. Right, my fault. Anyways, uh, let's see. Let's let's see if I can get fucking scared huh? in the beginning. Anyways, uh, do you want me to start off light? you want me to start off heavy? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's getting heavy. Get start off heavy. All right, so what I'm going to talk about right now is a very disturbing slash scary episode of La Rosa de Guadalupe. Oh, my. And okay. Trigger warning to people who have a strong like fear for clowns. The name of this episode is Te Va a Salir El Payaso. The clown is going to come out. Okay. And this episode came out in 2017, around the same time when the 20, like 16, 2017 killer clown videos were coming out. Yeah, I remember. We were, everybody was scared to go out at that time. It was all over the news. People were like putting it all over social media. Univision covered that shit too. Yeah, that's how and bad like, it was. people did not want to be out at night because of the clowns and stuff, right? Yeah, I remember. But basically, this episode, there's a 15 to 16 year old kid. His name is Edwin. He's in high school, mm. and he's just a troublemaker. The very first scene, he's arguing with the teacher. He gets in trouble. He's trying to be the class clown, not really taking it serious. He's the same way at home, right? So he's just a troublemaker, trouble child, like. Mm -hmm. A fuck up, you know what a I mean? A rebel? Yes, exactly. And his friends are exactly the same, right? And obviously, like, they're they're just trying to look for the next thing to, like, fuck with. Like, just fuck around, get into trouble. So they decide, yo, let's rob a liquor store. What the fuck? And one of the friends ends up pulling out a fake gun. And they're like, yo, we gotta rob this liquor store, bruh. They decide to do this fucking crazy shit. Wait, how, how old are these fucking kids? Bro, they're in high school, bro. They're like 15 to 16 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So they ended, up, they ended up robbing the liquor store. Keep in mind, they only robbed, like, chips and shit. They didn't even rob anything crazy. They just wanted to do it because they're fucking bored. For the rush of it? Yeah. So they do that after s some time passes, and they come on, like, they, they're scrolling through the internet. And, like, one of those, like, cafes, like, uh, well, what do you call those? Like... What? Where, like, there's computers and stuff, but it's also a coffee shop, like... I mean, it, I mean technically, it's just a coffee shop, and it just has computers inside. But, um, it's 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 a name to it. It's, like, Electronic Cafe, some shit like that, okay. or whatever. But they're scrolling through the internet, and they come across these videos that are going viral. The clown videos. The clown videos. A lot of people are talking about it. People are scared. It's putting, too, like, so much fear into people that it's changing, like, oh, they don't want to come out at night. And it's fucking shit up, right? Yeah. And they want to be part of it. So what do they do? They it's decide, good. let's dress up as clowns uh -huh. and let's terrorize the town and shit, right? They end up doing it. They dress up as clowns. Their very first victim, bro. This is Loki when it starts getting a little dark. They um they catch this old lady. She's walking in the street at night alone. She's a little older, bro. Like, I want to say like 60s, 70s, maybe even 80s. God damn. So she's uh, way older, bro. She's an old lady. And they gang up on her. They grab her. They start, like, scaring her and shit. 
and scary's by bro clowns by themselves are just scary as fuck and now imagine like strangers and shit they're just grabbing you and like who knows what the fuck they're gonna do to you yeah so she ends up getting so scared that she basically gets a heart attack and dies and you could see it in the episode she just falls to the ground and you could see her dead bro and what how the fuck do the kids react they just laugh and like they start recording it and stuff and it doesn't even stop them bro because after that they post the video and they continue doing it they do it like a good maybe three two three more times is it because these just are going viral or some shit like they're probably getting the adrenaline rush of it or that's, that's probably what it is bro like i said they're they're fucked up kids they're fucked up in the head they just want to do fuck shit right <laughs> so uh their very last victim right is a young kid so it's a young kid he was walking home i guess from the grocery store or something like that but okay. it's already late at night okay they catch him they start doing the same shit he starts screaming for help but his pops comes out the kid's dad the kid's dad comes out and he's like hey let go like that's my son this and that get the fuck out of here the whole neighborhood starts waking up the whole neighborhood starts saying yo those are the motherfuckers that that have been like terrorizing like the whole town and shit no don't tell me don't Let, let's fucking get them and like they low-key all start chasing them and shit the 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 kids the fucking hooligans and shit they get cornered one of the friends pulls out the fake gun. Worst mistake he could have done, bro. Someone in the fucking crowd in the crowd pulls a real gun out and is like, Ora si te va a salir el payaso. Fuck. Yeah, and then he fucking ends up he ends up shooting him, bro. He ends up fucking shooting him. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. And, like, you see, like, him getting shot and stuff. And despite the fact that, like, clowns is low-key, like, disturbing and scary by itself, you see a fucking 15-year-old get shot. You see an old lady die. And basically, like, how it ends is obviously with the win. Like, they they end up being for the better and stuff. Like, they stop being troubled children. Like, they stop looking for stupid shit to do. But what I wanted to get into is the whole, like, 2016 killer clown sightings. Yeah. And how, like, how viral that was. Yeah, bro. Like I said, I remember watching that shit. Again, I also remember my mom being like, I don't want you going out with your friends uh, out late. At, at, late at night because of what's going on, the killer clowns. Because you already know, when, whenever something bad happens, Univision, Telemundo, they always cover it. And they make it seem like it's the biggest, like, like uh, the biggest problem in the world. Which, it, again... <laughs> It's it was scary at that time and it was low key like a problem because people were, were getting scared to go out like basically uh, enjoy their day to day life because yeah. they didn't want to witness no clown and I'm pretty sure this should happen around here too bro like I remember seeing like mad uh, mad videos of uh, the clowns on like I think they're waiting on, on at bus stops the the trains the train stages and shit so yeah. I remember bro so in 2016 in South Carolina was where it first started okay. so there was this kid who uh he basically had like called the cops or he t i think he told his family and shit that he was scared because he got chased down by clowns who was who they were basically trying to lure him into the into the woods or the forest what the fuck yeah so that's how it started and then like after that the news covered it i guess people in the new like people saw the news and they just wanted to be part of it type and shit. They, and they, then they decided to post social media like like post videos of them dressing up as clowns in the middle of the street yeah and like a, a highway late at night and then it became a trend then like the whole prank videos came out yeah of yeah. people dressing up as clowns and scaring people i remember yeah so low-key it wasn't that serious it wasn't like no like crazy shit tied to that mm -hmm. but you know like like you said bro the internet just like see something and they make it like way worse than what it actually is it's like um the grimace the grimace shake trend that happened exactly Even though bro. nothing's scary but people somehow made that shit scary exactly bro so that's exactly what happened and yeah bro that's you have a video of some of the clips or not of some the of the clips of the Rosa Lupe episode? yeah yeah of course oh, yeah, cause i want i want to see the how they looked and shit go back more back more back <laughs> that was low key. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think they were gonna actually show him get shot, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm telling nah. you, bro. This shit was a crazy ass episode. That's wild, bro. I've never seen that shit in my life, bro. Not me. It was a pretty like low key recent, like I yeah, mean, 20, that's seven years ago. Not that recent, but yeah, 2017 doesn't seem recent, but it is recent. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Honestly, like when I when I when I saw that episode, cause shout out to Erica Angel, 
That's oh, her yeah. name, right? Because she's yeah. the one who like posted about it. Mm-hmm. When I, like she reminded me of the episode because mm-hmm. I remember seeing like when the whole trend came out. I remember like the Rosa de Guadalupe made like that that episode and shit. Mm-hmm. But shout shout out to Eric Angel for like reminding me about that episode. Yo, Eric Angel, if, if this video ever gets to you or somehow, bro, we need to collab. You need to come on this fucking podcast, bro. I swear. So I came across this video of a creepy doll that's allegedly cursed and you see it move on camera. It's a little backstory to this, right? There's a TikToker. His name is, uh, I believe his name is Jay. His TikTok name is Sinister. A little backstory before I show you the video. So Jay, he said that he copped this doll from a, from a thrift store. In the thrift store, they were selling two other similar dolls that were made by the same brand. Yeah. But the doll that he copped was, was kind of hidden away. Cause kind of, kind of like insinuating that the people that were that owned the store that were selling the the, the doll they didn't want people to buy it yeah. because pe- they probably thought that it was either cursed or haunted, haunted. which I which should have been the first red flag off the bat. Like if it's hidden and it's a doll, that's kind of like why would you want to buy it? Yeah. So he ends up buying it in the beginning. Nothing really happens. It's until like he has it for like a year, year and a half when weird shit starts happening. And then in the video that I'm gonna show you, he's um he's taking care of his, uh I believe his kid, one of his kids. Mm-hmm. Also, how the doll looks, it's kind of like one of those antique dolls when that has like a, a wind up uh wind up knob that whenever you you wind it up, it makes like the, you know when you open up a jewelry box and it makes like, that that little ringtone. Yeah, like a melody. Yes, so it has that melody to it, but you have to twist it for it to like play. And also sometimes it, he also shows it too, like if you. If you uh, shake it, it kind of rings, but only for like a brief second, and that's it. I, ha- I have one of those. So in the video, uh, it's in a box, and it starts playing the little like ringtone, little melody, and it starts moving. Cause we're also whenever it uh, it uh, yeah it moves like this. Yes, yeah, tight. No, well, in in this in this scenario, it kind of like moves this way, but you have like I said, you have to wind it up, bro and bro i have i have one of those and it's it's like the metal like wind up thing yes and yes it's, it's like you gotta crank it bro like yes it's fucking hard to do so it's weird the fact that it's moving and it's playing and it's inside a glass box bro. exactly i'm gonna show you it let me know let me know what you guys think because it kind of looks like the doll is looking at the camera in a way Oh, nah, bro. I'm trying to think of a way, like, he could have, like, faked it and shit, but, like... I mean, if you see it, you could probably you could probably see, think of a way, but he even... He does not post no scary content, bro. Even still to this day, he still posts, but, like, uh, they don't post no scary content. It was just that specific thing, and, again, he's... Uh, There's also a video of him um, saying that whenever he tries to record uh, videos of the doll, the video ends up looking, like... Blurry? Not blurry. There's, like, some malfunctions. I'll show you that video as well. But um, this is the video. Let's see. I think, I think I can see it on here. Hold on. Not stop. Oh wait, there it is. See if she moves. Yo. There it is. But like, bro, it's not it's not a constant like ringing melody sound. Like it kind of stops, then it plays, then it, then it pl- uh, stops, then Yo, it plays. But it moved mad smoothly, bro. Like the the doll that I have that you crank it up and shit, you crank it up, and then it plays. But it goes like this, mm-hmm. right? It's like a, a specific type of movement that looks like it's just look. It's like. Like it's leaning, that's See, it, it bro. <laughs> it's moving when it's not even playing, bro. So I'm saying. And also like this this is a closer up close up of how it looks. And he, he- also shakes it so you can see how what well, I'm talking about. I didn't find anything else in the rest of the recordings. I'm not gonna put those two little snippets that I found. I think they're very easily just something else uh at one point in time my camera stopped because the camera app on my thing only records three hours 
When I got back to the house, I restarted it, and when I looked back, uh, the doll had moved a little bit. That was the only thing on that first one. My son might have played with it, my wife might have moved it, cat might have bumped it. Could be anything. Uh, the second thing was, at one point in time the other night, my camera uh, kind of fell, landed on the desk, still pointed at it. You can still see the doll, which was weird. And uh, it did make some sounds. Again, could be anything. Uh, my camera's real crappy. It's just one of these little crappy cameras. It's on a deck box, so it might have just slipped. My cat could have jumped up, hit it, shaken the desk, and made it tinkle. I, it could have been anything. So I don't think it's worth it to put them up. Um, sorry, I know some people were very invested in this, and I was trying to get more stuff, but I just didn't find anything. Real quick, yes, the doll moves. Uh, that was never a thing. It's supposed to move when you wind it. The weird part was that it would move without being wound. And I know people are going to tell me, oh, well, if the temperature changes or it gets shaken, yeah, it does It does do that. It does tinkle a little bit. But, here, let me, but when you shake it, you get, yeah, one or two. You got to pretty aggressively shake it, too. So the fact that it did it on its own was the weird thing and that it moved so much. I've seen it, you know, the heat changes and it's it goes, kind of a creepy makes the sound a little bit. Yeah. And it's like, it's nothing. One. It doesn't do it as much as it did the other day. And that and was the, weird. And then there's another video of, um, like, him trying to record it and then, like, this happens. I'm going to record this on here because it's not showing up when I record. But this is what happens when I put the camera uh, on the doll. When I record, it's fine. But it keeps doing that, and I can't figure out why. It's never done that before. Nah, bro. He needs to get rid of that shit. Yeah, bro. But this is this is a pretty like this this came out last year. I don't know I don't know any updates on the doll. I don't think he he has posted any updates on it. Like he hasn't really posted like no recent updates on I it. I got rid of that shit, probably. But uh yeah, bro, it's just fucking creepy. I mean, you did say that before, like they they uh you know the whole thing that people say don't buy dolls from like antique stores, dolls, toys, stuffed animals from. Thrift stores, yard antique sales. stores, yard sales, because they could be carrying curses or some type of entity in, on it. Could be possessing it, yeah. The next thing I'm going to talk about is pretty scary. Uh, Loki trigger warning, because I feel like what I'm going to talk about right now, Loki carries some heavy ass energy and shit. What do you mean? I'm going to show you, but it's a video of a of a guy who um, basically is, is a brujo. For those of you who don't know what that is, he's a warlock. Somebody who practices black magic. Or male witch. Um, uh, yeah. But um, basically, he's very known in Mexico. And he's talked before on like multiple podcasts how he does rituals. He's known for taking you to something called the Devil's Cave, La Cueva del Diablo. Oh, okay, okay. And um, he... Make, he he basically is is the middleman between you and the devil to make a pact with the devil. Whoa, what he's the, the fuck? middleman, right? He's talked about it openly before. How he knows how to do these things. How literally he guides you through the whole process. After a certain time, it's just you and the devil. Wait, so is this, is this guy basically like a, a satanist type shit? He's not a satanist, bro. He just practices black magic and he knows how to contact. Whoa, what? The, okay, the devil and shit, right? But there's this one video. That he came out, re he came out recently on a podcast, right? And he was talking about the reason why he has stopped doing like certain things revolving around black magic, and it was because it, it, it basically like kind of scarred him. Also, he just recently had a kid, so he stopped doing stuff with kids, stuff involving children. He stopped doing all those things, but he's done it before. Okay. He just stopped recently And I'm gonna show you What he was talking about And it's fucking scary Yo I'm telling you right now It's fucking disturbing What he says It's in Spanish It's in Spanish You know we're gonna explain it To you guys in English We might have subtitles Whatever But we're gonna make sure Everybody who doesn't know Spanish Understand what's going on And what's being said Okay But I'm gonna screen record I'm, this I'm fucking scared bro but I'm, I'm gonna screen record this As well Actually it's a TikTok I could just send you the TikToks Alright but But it's this right here Para todos mis hermanos, yo ya no estoy haciendo pactos. Ya no estoy haciendo pactos. Por mucho que la gente llegue y me ofrezca millones de pesos, ya no lo estoy haciendo. Porque la última vez me llegó un señor con un niño de cuatro años y quería pactar, pero él quería ofrendar a ese niño. Sí, un niño que no había vivido su vida. ¿Sí me entiendes? 
Él no quería control, él lo que quería era avaricia. Y yo soy muy directo, hermano. A mí me sí. gusta hablar cuando es eso, cuando es tipo de tema de que se trate a los niños, porque yo cuido mucho, sí. tengo un hijo, ¿no? O que no este señor y me dice, bueno, no pasa nada, así como tú, puedo ir con otros brujos. Le digo, mira, aquí hay 32 en Catemaco. Puedes conseguir lo que tú necesites, sí. menos conmigo. Una, una, una pregunta. Eh, el señor llevaba al niño, digamos así. ¿Qué, es, qué, es, ¿Qué ritual hace para ofrendar al niño? Lo desmiembra con un cuchillo, con una so, daga. To explain what's going on and what's being said, this guy right here is a very known, like I said, he practices black magic. He's known in the specific part in Mexico called Catemaco, where there are other well, warlocks, brujos. witches, brujas in that area, but he's one of the most powerful ones. And, uh, He's saying that he doesn't do like no type of like packs no more with yeah, the devil. Yeah. He's not the middleman no more. He stopped doing that. The reason why is because he got offered, or no, he didn't get offered. He just well, he got offered a lot of money. Yeah. But the whole thing was with a four year old child. Like some a guy came up to him asking for a a, a blood or a devil a, yeah, a pack with the devil and offering the child's soul in exchange for whatever he wanted, right? And he stopped doing that. <laughs> and he's saying that the the guy, the podcaster, asked, "So how exactly do you like offer somebody or offer the child to the devil?" And he said, "You have to kill them and dismember their bodies. You have to dismember the body of the child, bro." That's so fucked. I know. Let's keep going with the video. Con un cuchillo, con una daga. Oh my gosh. Y da aparte de ello toma de la sangre de la persona. Sí. Hay un incluso lo hacen famosos. Okay. Cuando este, no sé si, si se llama adrenocrono o algo así que es para que, que es la sangre que le quitan a los niños pero ahí te va esa sangre se lo quitan a los niños cuando ellos están en lo peor del miedo cuando están en lo peor del miedo cuando tienen esa adrenalina uh -huh. es cuando se le saca la sangre a los bebés a los niños What? se le saca la sangre mientras están vivos o mientras tienen miedo Sí, a las personas, por ejemplo, los famosos prefieren tener a los niños siempre con miedo a matarlos. ¿Sí me entiendes? Le sacan la sangre un poquito y se los inyectan y e incluso ahí va lo de los vampiros. Los vampiros anteriormente, ellos, por ejemplo, ellos hacían que la persona tuviera demasiado miedo y cuando estuvieran a punto de que ya lo peor era cuando le drenaban toda su sangre. La sangre... Cuando tú te la tomas y viene todo este, este miedo, toda esa alteración de la persona que se le está sacando la sangre, es como una droga para el ser humano. Uh -huh. ¿Se ¿Sí me entiendes? Son sustancias alusivas que al tomar esa sangre te va a dar en un ambiente diferente energético. O sí, sea, en una conexión muy diferente con la persona. Uh -huh. este, este hombre al pactar quería hacer eso. Hacer que el niño tuviera lo, lo peor del miedo y de ahí desmembrarlo. Tomar parte de su, de su sangre para estar en otro nivel. Y aparte, darle de ofrenda a la sangre y el niño, el alma. Y eso funciona. Sí, funciona. Um, and now, what the and now, fuck? and now, what I'm gonna mention right now is a conspiracy that Loki, this just like added more truth to it okay so the whole conspiracy is right that i'm gonna mention right now wait uh, well, what are you gonna say whoa, whoa, whoa. i gonna say like oh explain the rest yeah because some of them don't know what the oh, fuck. oh yeah yeah my bad so basically what he ended up saying is that you have to dismember this child with a knife or a dagger after that um when you also have to drink the child's blood yeah yeah and he said that specifically when the child is at the highest peak of fear it's like when you when you're supposed to do it And it's some sort of like drug type of like sensation when you drink the blood. Because of the adrenaline that they get. Yeah, like that, all that emotion and all that fear inside the blood, mm -hmm. that, that energy gets carried on into your body whenever you consume it. And it's like you feel like some sort of high. You feel like, yeah. like some sort of energy, right? Mm -hmm. And he said that famous people do this. Famous people do these types of things. They drink children blood. Mm hmm And also that it goes back to like vampires and stuff is what he said. Mm. How P 
people would rather have these kids around just scared. They'd rather have them keep them around scared than kill them and shit. That's fucking that's insane. And bro. what I'ma mention right now, which a lot of the comments also like mentioned and shit, is a conspiracy that's been around for a minute. Mm-hmm. So it's known that evil entities, evil spirits, or now in this case, people like to feed off of the energy of other people, right? Yeah. Especially like negative energies like uh stress, um, anxiety, fear. That, that that's why they say um that vampires exist because not not in the sense of like, oh yeah, they're they're gonna come drink your fucking blood. But there's vampires that literally are in your life just to suck drain your drain en- your energy and basically make your fucking life miserable. Exactly. And also this goes on to the whole conspiracy revolving Monsters Inc. So in Monsters Inc. Well, right, okay, I, I I think I know where you're gonna go with this, in, bro. In Monsters Inc., they're monsters, right? Yeah. And their whole world, their whole city, is powered by what? Fear. Coming from who? The children. Exactly. They don't kill the children. Mm-hmm. They keep in, in the, they keep them around in a constant state of, of fear. fear. Yeah. To drain their energy and live off of that. Mm -hmm. And what did he say, bro? And how does the liquid look inside the tanks of the fucking, of the Monsters, Inc.? Those yellow tanks when it powers up? Yeah. How does it look, bro? It's like blood. And what he said to explain it, that they live off of these kids. They keep them around in fear and they consume their blood, bro. Fuck, bro. And who did he say does these things, bro? The 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 most part, the powerful people, famous people. Yeah. And like I said, th- these are all just conspiracies, bro. Yeah. But these conspiracies have been around for a minute, bro, for a very long time. I mean, it's also huge that he's saying this shit. Exactly, bro. A person who is known to be like to have contact with the devil, bro. Like he's the middleman. And again. The, the reason why I believe all this shit is because, bro, if you go to Mexico, right, and then you ask these people who've who've have heard, heard stories about the devil, who've heard stories about legends like like Yorona, Duendes, all that shit, bro, they will tell you these stories with a straight face, a serious ass face, and some of them will even tell it like they're fucking scared, like they're reliving the moment, but they're not just saying bullshit. Yeah, it's through experience and yes. shit. Yes. Why, why would he lie about this? Exactly. I, 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 the obvious question could be for, for clout. clout. But like, bro, come on. It's, this shit exists. It's kind of crazy, bro. And like I said, you know, the whole like, it seems like a reach. The whole like, oh, living off of this energy and shit. But people say that everything is right in front of our eyes. You know, they want to put it in front of our faces. Yeah. And that, that that's a whole nother conspiracy that we're just a farm. Like we're we're a farm. To supply energy to other something else, whatever it is, bro. Yeah, that's that's a whole um the rat race. Exactly. We're just slaves, bro. Yeah, like cause... we're we're powering something else, whether it could be through energy, through physical shit, like mm-hmm. bro, and then it ties back to other shit, bro. It's a spiritual battle, bro. Mm-hmm. Constant one too. A constant spiritual fight in your life all the time, bro. It's either you choose good or you choose bad, bro. And either one feeds something, bro. Yeah. So, you obviously know the famous Bloody Mary, right? Yeah. So, there's actually, I don't know if you knew this, but there's a Japanese Bloody Mary. I didn't know this. Okay. So, um, there's an urban legend about it. So, the Japanese Bloody Mary, like the urban legend is called Hanako-san. Oh, shit. So I don't know if you ever heard about this or, or even probably seen anything about it on TikTok. I'm not, I haven't heard about it. It's a this. very, it's a very well known Japanese urban legend. Like if you, if if you, if you ask anybody if they ever heard about this shit, they're gonna say yes because it's well known throughout J- Japan. Yeah. So um, there's there is obviously various legends depending on the region, like every other fucking legend. Uh, the three that I saw that people talk about. So, uh, there was this young girl. She was like, I would say around like 10 to 12 years old. Mm-hmm. She loved to wear red skirts 
or um, red uh, red dresses. Her favorite color was red. Mm. And they say that she died either from um, being bullied and she ended up in the girl's bathroom mm. or um, she was in the girl's bathroom and she ended up dying from uh, from an air raid in World War II. Or the other one was that she was abused by her parents, which caused her to commit suicide. Or that she was planning hide and seek with her friends and somehow, some way she was murdered. No one really knows the true cause of death. Cause of death, but all they know is that there's a young girl that haunts specifically the third stall of the girl's bathroom on the third floor. It could be on the third floor or just the third stall in general. But they say that the way to summon her is you gotta knock on the stool three times and you ask like Hanako san. Are you there? And you're gonna get back a response, uh, a whisper of a little girl saying like yes, or you could hear like giggling as well. And she loves to be summoned, cause I know Bloody Mary or or not not even Bloody Mary. I know the other Japanese bathroom legends. They don't like to be summoned. Like they're kind of evil. Some people say that Hanako-san she likes to be summoned, and. It could be either a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes, if, if it's a bad thing, they say that, oh, uh, she drags you down the toilet, which leads to hell. Or you just hear good. Or, if, like I said, if you hear the yes and giggling, that's your that's your, basically your sign to to leave the, the bathroom. Because after that, if you stay too long, you're going to, you know. Get dragged to yeah. hell. Yeah. But I saw a video of these girls playing... Um, uh, I guess the Hanako-san game or whatever, and they end up hearing knocks back, and they also the end up, and they also and they also end up seeing allegedly Hanako-san, the Japanese Bloody Mary. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you it. Could be fake, could be real, but it, it scared me, bro, when I first saw it, bro. Nah. Okay. So in the video, uh, it's a group of girls, Japanese girls, and they they hear crying in the in the stall bathroom on their lunch break, and they obviously get curious to go check it out, and again they end up seeing some scary shit. And again, shout out to New Star Five. No, tell me they. That's what I'm saying, bro. That got that got me, bro. <laughs> they end up seeing that shit, and then they dip. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh shit. Find distorted face of a young girl can be seen inside one of the restroom stalls. The group runs in Bruh. fear, and the video cuts. Yeah, bro. And again, the origin of this video, like, no one knows the origin of the video, like, where it came from and shit. They just know it was in Japan. Nah, bro. <laughs> that shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. I knew that it was. Because it, that's, what, that's, how I, that's, where we, that's how I reacted when I saw it, bro. Oh, shit. Yeah. I th bro, I thought they were going to see something inside, like, the... Oh, the toilet? Yeah, inside. That's, the, that's what I thought, too, bro. Bro, that shit scared the fuck. I'm not even lying, bro. That shit scared the fuck out of me, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Yo. 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 <laughs> Nah, bro. <sighs> Fuck. L l let me know what you guys think about that video. I honestly low key think it's real, bro. You think so? Yeah, yeah, bro. I don't know. It, she looks pretty like like weird and shit. Like scary. Yeah. Like also, let me know. Let me, let me know if you guys ever heard about that legend or and if you're in Japan, uh, and you you happen to be like uh in, in school. Obviously, if you go to school in Japan, and you have a third floor. Go to the third stall if you want to play it. Knock three times and let's see if you get a response back. 
And yeah, bro. You know what's crazy? I have a stupid story. What you mean? This one time I tried to actually play Bloody Mary. You, I never played Bloody Mary. I was too scared. I was, I, too I, pussy, play, I was playing by myself, bro. When was this? I was a kid, bro. You know when you're a kid and you fucking get curious. Curi- yeah. Curiosity kills the, the, the cat. Yeah. That's exactly what happened, bro. I was, uh, because my, my, my family always has candles and shit. Yeah. So I grabbed one of them. It was oh, the middle of the God. night and shit. I grabbed one of the candles and um, I took it to the bathroom, just like how it says, you know, you have to take the candle to the bathroom. You make sure the lights are off. <laughs> oh my God, bro. And uh, I looked in the mirror and like I said, Bloody Mary three times. And like, it says that you have to turn off the candle and then light it again. And then you're going to see Bloody Mary, I think, or mm-hmm. or something like that. I forgot how it goes. But I remember I was I was gonna say it. I said it, and then as soon as I said, it, I just did, bro. Cause I was not like low key. It felt like something was in the corner of the mirror. Like I low key saw some shit, but like I low key like turned on the light and I dipped. Like I, I was not trying to do the whole thing, but I don't even know why I did that, bro. What the fuck is wrong with me, bro? Nah, what are you bugging? Let me know if you guys ever done that. Like, bro, curiosity is a bad thing sometimes. I know multiple people that have tried it and they just say it's bullshit. Yeah. But there's multiple people that I think they have seen shit. I mean, let me know. If, let me know if you guys have played that shit too, bro. Bloody Mary, because that's a very, very well-known like game, and especially here in, in the states, in the world probably. But, but yeah, guys. So this is a disturbing disappearance case. Oh fuck, bro. Okay. That happened in 2014, right? So two Dutch students. One was a 21-year-old girl, and the other one was a 22-year-old girl. Were they, were they blonde? It was, I think, a blonde and a brunette. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. One of them is named Chris Kremers, and the other one was Lisa Lisa Ann Froon. Okay. Basically, uh, they they had just recently graduated university or college. Mm. They had saved up a lot of money or a good amount of money, and they wanted to, you know, to treat themselves and travel to South America. Yeah. So first, the trip started in Costa Rica. They uh, They were doing their thing there having fun then they shifted over to panama right Uh and they they took a a canon camera with them so they were recording documenting the whole trip taking pictures too taking trip uh, taking pictures right and uh in their their camera roll you could see that they were basically um just enjoying the time there they were going out to eat they were seeing different tourist spots and I guess one day they decided, you know, we went out to eat. We already did all the touristy sp- like things, but we haven't gone on no hiking trails. We okay. haven't seen nature, Okay. you know, because they were sticking to the cities. They were sticking just specifically to the tourist areas, but they wanted to go on a hiking trail, right? Okay. So they decided to go um, on a hiking trail, which is the most like popular one, which was called El... El Pianista Trail. Okay. And uh, it's a pretty long, like, OD long trail. It's, like, eight kilometers long. And it's also known to be dangerous because of the terrain. It's a little muddy, slippery. If you don't know, like, your way through the jungle, you could low-key, like, die. Yo, why does this shit low-key sound like the, the, other t- the other case I talked about? Which one? Like, the two girls that went on, like, a, like a trip and they got, like like rushed by like some terrorists it's 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 similar but like yo it it low-key bro it's low-key similar bro that's fucking insane so uh whatever still on their camera roll it it, it shows pictures i'm gonna show you the pictures right now okay keep in mind all these pictures are were released to the public okay so uh this is just you guys knowing that it's a disappearance case so like we're just following along with the evidence that was left behind. Okay, okay. Because they were never found, bro. These girls were never found. Not even their bodies or remains? I'm going to get to that, but okay. they were never found. The only thing that was found was uh, a bug bag, which had some of their belongings. But the main thing is we're following along with the pictures on their camera. So everything that I'm telling you right now is just based on what people are assuming was going on, based on the pictures of their can oh, camera. Oh, okay, okay, right. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they saw them going through all these spots and shit, and now the pictures go to them on this hiking trail, right? So these are the girls you can see. Okay. They're just taking pictures of themselves on the hiking Yo, trail. This is looking eerie, bro. The trail. 
Cause like you're, we're literally following their la their final moments. Okay. That's her. That's one of them. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let me just make sure you're not going to pictures you're not supposed to see yet. Just let me know when. To, well, you, you you would know when to stop. Yeah. So pretty much, this was the last pictures. Okay. Let me see. And those okay. were the very last pictures that were taken, right? Okay. So, uh, what happened was, is, uh, like I said, we're following their footsteps through their pictures, through their camera roll of their Canon camera. Hold on, I'm going to restart it. Through the pictures, we, uh, we realize, or they, the people who, um, basically are, are native to the land and shit, they came to the conclusion that, like the investigators, mm -hmm. that they reached the point that they were supposed to reach, which is El Mirador, mm -hmm. which is the top of the mountain or a summit. Mm -hmm. where like that, that's the end of the trail basically right but the thing is usually tourists whenever they reach that spot they turn back and they come back bro so they kept going they kept going bro they kept walking for whatever reason they kept walking maybe they uh investigated a little bit of the trail or whatever they felt like they could go more uh -huh. or maybe they just got curious and wanted to you know keep going or maybe they were chased who knows but all all we know is that they kept going okay right and uh for the next two and a half hours that's when like basically shit took a spin for the worst and shit would start turning dark right chris one of the girls chris kermers mm -hmm. she ends up dialing the dutch number uh, that's 911 for them which is 112 okay she dials it on her iphone then she try then they tried again from uh lisa's phone Try dialing the same number but they didn't get no response but they couldn't get no connections because they're in the middle of the forest okay so this whole time they tried like 11 times to call the authorities on their phones so they were being chased that's what and, it sounds like uh one hour later their phone was turned off oh, fuck. and during the more days like a good like two three days after the authorities were basically their phone was like trying to call the authorities the whole time mm -hmm. until it finally like fully died and shit right so uh the only way the only reason that this shit got reported was because they had an appointment with the tour guide the next day at 8 a.m yeah but the tour guide was like where the fuck where the fuck they at you know what i'm saying i'm supposed to like find them and shit he ended up like somehow discovering where they were staying at and shit he realized that they never came back to their spot they had left and they never came back so he ended up like reporting it to like the police the police and reporting it to the the girl's family that where are your daughters and shit right mm -hmm. where are your kids this is when the investigation started happening the authorities automatically like started searching the trail they started searching like over like 50 like trails as well that are near the area and covering a lot of the area where they would have ended up if they were lost or maybe injured or anything like that they just started searching the fuck out of the forest right they even used helicopters a small plane and still no signs bro no signs at all but weird stuff did start happening with their phones so on the iphone 77 attempts with the wrong passcode were attempted to log into the iphone bro 77 attempts bro you don't fuck up like your passcode that many times bro uh, yeah so somebody was trying to get into her phone right and then seven days pass and now we get to more pictures on the canon camera which are called the nighttime photos whoa so um the nighttime photos are very very different bro they're just more random and these are literally what they're what they're called nighttime photos so they're these why is it is that the stars it's uh it's kind of like raining or it's it's pointing at the sky but those glares could be like rain and shit okay and then this is also another one which they're trying to say that maybe it's oh, it's, it's her yeah but it wouldn't make sense because where's her shoulder and shit you know and then also these, which is just kind of showing the terrain around. Uh -huh. Yo, I'm not going to let you know what these look like. What? Wait, is there more? Yeah, there's more. This one right here. Th does it get disturbing at one point? No, no. Okay. I'll say it after then. Whoa. The f 
fuck? Oh, and then that's when it ends. You know, the, you know, you know what those look like. I know what you're gonna say, bro. Like it looks like they're uh, using the camera as uh, as a light source, like to 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 I guess navigate their way because it's dark. So that's what people were saying. People were saying that maybe uh they were using it as a flash to like exactly see where they're going because they couldn't see, bro. It's probably fucking pitch black, bro. And also, uh, some people were saying like they were uh, trying to like mark like spots where they were at, so but, they could be found. So not not just so they could be found, but also like so they don't get lost. So, oh, we already covered this spot, you oh, know. Okay. But yeah, yeah. but but the reason why it's weird is because four of the pictures were in the same spot, so it wouldn't make sense as to why they were like you, they they weren't using it as like oh we were here already. No, they were four pictures were in the same spot. So maybe they were using it as light, a light source. Yeah, or what, whatever happened, bro. They were there and they were taking pictures in the same spot four times, right? But also keep in mind that those were the only pictures that were released by the authorities. Also, there were more. There's more pictures that were never released to to us and shit, to the public. And still to this day, they were never released and, and shit. We don't know what the fuck on there. We don't know what the pictures are, bro. And also, uh, so two months later, yeah. you know, two months later, that's when this backpack was found, which contained this camera that we're following right now. And also... It contained like their bras, like basically clothes and stuff. And it was reported by the locals who said that it got washed up by by a river, and they seen they seen the backpack, and basically uh reported it. it. Reported it. There, uh, thirteen DNA samples were found on that backpack, but most of them were strangers, and it was they had no idea who it was, but it also was their their dna and shit like the girls who were missing oh my gosh i can right? even imagine bro and then that's one of their leads that they ended up getting the backpack and where it was found they started doing more of a search during like next to that area that's where they found their bodies they didn't find their bodies bro the only thing they found was a boot a shoe with bones inside of it they found a pelvic bone jean shorts and all those things matched with these girls dna so they are automatically uh, bro they're dead yeah the girls are dead bro another weird thing is is that the bones that they found were bleached like bleach from like trying to cover up dna like chemicals yeah like bleached it was bleached they were bleached and also it, the reason why everything is so weird is because the way uh her leg her 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 foot like the the shoe with the bone in it mm -hmm. it was like ripped clean off bro it wasn't sawed off it wasn't bitten off like, it's like if something like pulled it off like just like that uh -huh. so like they they don't even know if it was like a murder or like an animal maybe or like they fell from somewhere but if it was an animal animals don't don't just rip bones clean off they, and they don't they have bite marks and shit bro and they don't bleach bones bro. exactly so uh basically um the theory is is that they uh they were walking on this hiking trail they ended up going they reached where they were supposed to go and along the way uh they came across some you know some locals that they probably killed them or whatever. God knows what happened to them, bro. Exactly, they probably they probably were assayed. Another reason, another thing that people are, are saying and they mentioned is the fact that the taxi driver that took them to the spot, the mm. trail, was found dead a couple days after, around the same time when this whole thing was going on, bro. What the? And multiple people leading to them were found dead. So they're saying that maybe this whole shit was like. Oh, so the taxi driver the taxi driver dropped them off. Some sort of like gang or whatever caught up to the taxi driver and was like, "Yo, where'd you leave them off? Where are they going?" And then um he told them they went to go get them. They killed him cuz he's a witness. He's a witness. So nobody's going to know what the fuck happened to them, bro. That's so fucking scary, bro. Yeah, bro. And also another thing, bro, is that the pictures from the last picture that I showed you that it's the daytime to the nighttime pictures, it's image 508, it jumps to image 510. 
missing picture five 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 oh nine five oh nine and the camera still had storage and it, it it doesn't do that bro canon doesn't do that yeah it goes from number to number i just got the chill so it's like they deleted somebody the had to delete that through a computer bro not not the camera itself through a computer because when you do it through uh through the 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 thing it just shifts down i think oh no actually no so fun fact i i put no Oh no, never mind. No, my my theory is way off. Cause I was gonna say, if you delete something from the camera and then you go, and you put it in the the laptop, you can still see it, but you can't see it. Well, not that I know of. I think it's the opposite. Like if you delete it, um, from your laptop, it it it'll still show up as like in the trash. But I don't know. It, it just the whole the whole like pictures are mad eerie. Yo, bro, that They're ass. Mad eerie, and it's crazy that you're mentioning all this shit because next week I have two topics that kind of revolve in the same kind of category. Bro, this, this shit is mad scary, bro. Yeah, because it's real life. Like, bro, what happened to these girls, bro? Like, Disappearance cases in general are scary as fuck because you don't know what the fuck happened. You don't know what the, what happened to them. Like, you, you don't know. Uh, you, we don't know the full story. We just have what is given to us, and we have to make our own story from, like, what we have and shit. And, bro, like, their remains were never found. We don't know what happened to them. They never, like, found out what happened. Like, and they don't know who did it. And it's the scariest part is that they like they are never gonna be found, bro. This shit happens all the time, bro. Yeah. And it's because the countries are so fucking big and they're so like, not like, you know, there's not cops everywhere in the forest and shit. That people could go missing just like that. That means the most common common place that you could go missing. So but, the the thing that I forgot to say yeah. was that this case reminds a lot of people, specifically the pictures. I, I know what you're gonna say. Reminds people of the movie. Uh, oh, never mind. Megan Megan is missing. Oh, because of the pictures. Because of the pictures following the camera and shit. And the last time you see where the girl was is in was the like the barrel, right? In the no no the the second girl that went missing looking oh, for her friend okay. was through the camera and the pictures and the videos. I was gonna say it kind of reminded me of uh, in a way. Um, the kid in the camera Yeah Cause like he was taking pictures Like um, to, to light his way And then he ends up seeing the The guy who ends up killing him That's fucking yo, Again that's fucking scary bro But to end, I guess to end off like The the scary segment or whatever I'm gonna show some scary videos too uh, Maybe one Cause I, I don't know the backstory on the, on the other one that much But so I save it I, Yeah so I have a video of, um, I believe, a doctor or a nurse yeah. that's working in the hospital. Obviously, he's like on um, he's like on a bench, but it's like one of those videos where where somebody's talking to to like uh, a person, but on camera they're talking to themselves. Like they're talking to a spirit. Yeah. So in this video, there's a, a doctor or a nurse who's sitting on the, on a bench, and and I know where he ends up like speaking to who he says. Who we thought was a woman or a patient in the hospital and he you see him giving directions on where to go in the hospital and he gets up from the bench because he goes to check um what the the patient's name is to get him more information on who the, this patient is and then they end up checking the security footage and he's talking to nobody and somebody says that on the very very top of the video you can see basically somebody peeking out it's kind of a little faint you have to really really pay attention but i'm gonna show you it and let me know what you think my gosh bro i'm not gonna lie bro like i'm scared yo like even even right now going to the bathroom and shit i was kind of scared oh, bro Nobody, right? Now I'm gonna play it back a little bit, and I'm gonna play it like a little bit slow, just so you can see. And let me know if you think it's something or top left. You said no, that the top of the. I'm, I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna zoom in. Okay. Uh, play this a little slower. Playback speed. I'll do it's fifty. Captured.
Oh shit. I saw it though. I think I saw it though. Right there? Yeah. Then uh, I, that's a cre creepy ass video. Then I have uh, another video. I don't know if this one's real or fake. Mm -hmm. Again, it's one of those videos, again, where like somebody's talking to somebody and they think that they're talking to somebody. But, and it's, but, but it, and, and they look back at the fucking footage, uh, and the security footage, and, and nobody's there. In Michoacan, Mexico, a photographer named Paco is waiting in his studio for his friend Eduardo to arrive to work on a project. Paco suddenly hears his friend Eduardo outside his open window, talking loudly to someone on the street. Was that a Paco fucking... checks his security camera to see what's going on, and uh, just watch. Give directions. Wait, te juro por Dios, wait. Te lo juro por Dios que un señor me preguntó que dónde era la pinera. Te lo juro por Dios, wait. Un señor se me acercó y preguntó, oiga, disculpe, ¿dónde es la pinera? Y por eso le explico, le digo que tenía que cruzar y darle más para abajo, wait. Te lo juro. Te lo juro, wait. No mames. Nah, bro. <laughs> That's fucking scary, bro. It's even worse, like, the fact that, like, like, you see yourself talking to nobody, bro, but you, like, remember vividly talking to somebody and shit. Yeah. And then to end it off, because it kind of relates to the hospital, the, the first video. Yeah. So this is an old-ass video that went viral before. It's called uh, Ghost in Public Hospital in uh, Guadalajara, Mexico. Oh, Maybe you've seen it before. Maybe you haven't. But it's just like a, it's a guy doctor and a nurse. Or a, a guy doctor and a, a woman doctor. And they're talking. I think he's kind of like flirting with the, 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 the woman. Spirit. And then in the background you see um, a figure. It kind of looks fake. But in a way it looks real because of how like you don't see shit in the in the room because it's not it's not a hallway that it passes through it's like a little room that it, it passes through so you you would uh, like automatically see it nah es que te estoy enfocando las boobies ah no mames ¿qué? pasó algo ¿qué pasó algo? a ver ven no mames, pasó algo, te lo juro que pasó algo, eh. Mami, ya te mueve. Viste a la verga. Ya lo voy. No mames. That's it. That's really no no other context to it. That's it. Yo nah bruh. What do you think? Could be fake. The way he uh Move the camera. Move the camera and shit, cause he took a little bit of like time to to look at the right. Somebody could have easily like went fast, walked out. So I don't know. It could be fake, yeah. but also uh, could be real, bro. I don't know. There's literally no explanation to that. Yeah, it's fucking potato quality fucking video and shit. But yeah, guys, that does, that does conclude uh, episode one twenty eight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, but before we do end, obviously we have some uh, Patreon shoutouts, which again. The uh, Long Legs episode is, is up there. If y'all haven't seen it, go watch that shit. And we got you with the Patreon shoutouts and supporter shoutouts. Shout out to the Patreon. Shout out to Tu Papi El Comal. Shout out to Juanita Lascano. Shout out to Tiana Martinez. Leche Con Flace. Adrian El Mero Güero Vaquero. 88 Falling. Arnulfo Mendez. Ran Yakuma. Y Yakumo. Uh, Brian Esquivel, Gustavo, Brian Diaz, Deku, Anita Bonita, Mando Biltron, Tita, Brianna and Marcos, Nadia Alston, uh, shout out Annalisa Melculo, shout out Bree, shout out Leslie with the pink hair, shout out El Vergudo, shout out 803 Carlos, Chiquilina Lopez, Stephanie Perez, shout out De La Comes Toda, shout out Guadalupe, Juan Pavahiu. Anaí, Álvaro Morales, a.k.a. El Ceviche, 
Eric Mendez, Ronaldo MD. Shout out the Throat Goat. Shout out the Rosolano. Shout out Rosa Melfierro. Shout out the Mika Bucua. Juan Medina, Jesus Chavez, Alex Manriquez, Jose Aguilera, Aguilera, Jose, Jaime Aure Aureo Albavera, Abel Mendoza, Miguelito, Jennifer Montelongo, and that space guy. We fucking love you guys. Love you guys. Also, yo, you you you, you got a lot of um I guess support on uh the situation that happened with like your your neighbors and shit. I don't know if you peeped it. Oh yeah, yeah I know a lot of people commenting like, yo, like you're in the right and shit. Yeah, like yo, fucking get a get a tow tow uh tow truck to tow her car. Yeah, put put a fucking cone to to block your spine. Shit. But to be fair, that's lucky okay, smart though. If you put a, if you put a cone, but like, why would you have to do that though if it's your spot? Yeah. You said W Pod, and I'll never give up on ya, man. For real, love you guys. Yeah. Shout out to you, bro. You rated us five stars. Yo, if anybody's into this shit, bro, please go rate us five stars on Apple Podcasts and TikTok and uh, Spotify. It, it definitely helps out a lot. Shout out to you for not giving up on us. Shout out to Daniela. Shout out to XOX. Nanny. Uh, he said, yeah, Deadpool and Dragon Ball collab. Uh, <laughs> don't play. This year I was a dark fairy. Next year hoping on Padme. Oh, Padme. Padme uh, Star Wars. Scarlet Witch Marvel or starfire dc lit podcast shout out to you shout out to shout out to you two patreons because they commented recently oh shit um on a youtube video or a patreon video uh patreon hold up let me because i just three actually because somebody else wants a birthday shout out even though it's like, it's like a late um birthday shout out but fuck it she said hey clown boys i just joined the, the patreon family i've been a fan since you y'all were cruising the NY streets and asking questions. Ricardo, what? Ricardo was way too skinny, and you had the the two little braids. Anywho, can I get a birthday shout out? It was the October second. Like even though it's late, I can't wait to see the collab with with the Quebec crew. I'm so proud of how how far you you'll come. Legit ripping y'all for la gente. Yo, shout out to you. Uh, what's her name again? Juanita. Juanita, uh, look, you're right. I was too skinny. And I definitely improved on that. So happy birthday. Hope you enjoyed it. Even though it's a late, bro, fuck it. You're getting the love. Because you did text us a little late too. So, yeah, so happy late birthday. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy late birthday. And thank you for being part of the Patreon family. It means a lot. And hopefully you enjoyed the long life reaction. Also, thank you for being a supporter for that long, bro. Like, that's crazy. That's way before we even started the podcast. Yeah, bro. Uh, shout out to Tu Papi El Comal. What's up, clown boys? I just joined the Patreon family, and my cousin put me on with y'all ever since the episode when you talked about La Mano, Penula, La Mano Peluda. Keep going and growing, and I'll stay supporting. Shout out to you, bro. Shout, Shout out, to out to you for being a Patreon as well. Shout bro. out to you, my boy. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting. Shout out to the Patreon family. Shout out to the YouTube family. Everybody. And, um, oh, fuck. And, yeah, guys, my hint for next episode is going to be... Graveyard. Graveyard. Uh, my hint for next episode is going to be YouTubers. Huh. Well, that concludes this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your host, George, a.k.a. Messiah Messiah. It's been your host, Ricardo, a.k.a. The Ricardo. El Ceviche. And do not let the podcast, <laughs> <laughs> and do not let the podcast go. I'm nice. <laughs>